Good morning, students. This is Miss Williams. Today is Monday. It is the 27th of April. This week, we are going to focus on operations with integers, which includes adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. Today, we are going to add and subtract integers. We're going to do that using three different models. We're going to do it on a number line, then with counters, and then using rules. We're going to start on the number line. And as you guys are well aware, on a number line, as you move to the right, numbers get greater. And as you move to the left, numbers get less. So we are going to start adding integers on the number line. When you add a positive number, you move to the right. So negative six plus one, you move up one to the right, which becomes negative five. And six plus one, you move up to the right again, and you get to seven. So when you add a positive, you move to the right. When you add a negative, so negative six plus negative one becomes negative seven. You're moving to the left one spot. And six plus negative one becomes five. Again, when you add a negative, you're moving left. So add a positive, you go right. Add a negative, you go left. Now what happens when you subtract? Well, when you subtract, let's subtract a positive first. When you subtract a positive, you go down in value, so you go to the left. And again, when you subtract a positive, you go down in value, so you go to the left. So when you subtract a positive, you're going to the left. So what happens then when you subtract a negative? When you subtract a negative, you're actually going to go to the right, because it must be the opposite of subtracting a positive. That takes you to the left, so subtracting a negative must take you to the right. When you take away a negative from your day, like if you're feeling pretty gloomy and sad when you come go somewhere to start with and then you meet a friend and they cheer you up, that friend has taken away a negative and you feel much better. So it's kind of like a positive. So six minus negative one is going to be seven. You're going up, you're going to the right. And negative six minus negative one is negative five. Again, you're going up in value. So you're going to the right on the number line. So in summary for a number line, adding a positive goes right. Adding a negative goes left. Subtracting a positive goes left. And subtracting a negative goes to the right. Let's look at using a counter model for adding integers next. So we're going to add and subtract integers using counters. So we're going to start off by introducing um, the idea of a zero pair. A zero pair is a pair of numbers that adds up to make zero, like positive one plus negative one makes zero. It's important for you to know about zero pairs because we're going to use them in the work that we do with counters. When you add a zero pair to a number, it doesn't change the value of the number. So I can add a plus one and a negative one to five, and the value is still five. And we're going to be using this in just a moment. All right, let's talk about adding integers using the counter model. So six plus one is seven, six positives, and one more positive is seven positives. Nothing terribly new there. Six plus negative one, six positive chips or counters, and one negative counter. One of the positives along with the negative makes a zero pair. So what you're left with is five positives. So six plus negative one is five. Negative six plus negative one is negative seven. So I have six negatives and another negative, I have seven negatives. And then down here, 
six negatives plus one positive. Again, I make a zero pair from one of the negatives and the positive, and I get negative five. So that's adding integers using the counter model. Now we're going to look at subtracting integers using the counter model. So let's start with six minus one is five. So you put in six positives, you take away one of the positives, you're left with five positives. No problems there. This problem is negative six subtract negative one. So I have six negatives, I take away one negative, that leaves me with five negatives. So far, so good. Six, take away negative one. Positive six, subtract negative one. So I'm starting with six positives. I don't have a negative to take away. So I have to add in a zero pair, which is positive and a negative, so that I have a negative to take away. Now I can take away that negative and I'm left with seven positives. Down here, I start with six negatives. They ask me to take away a positive or subtract a positive, but I don't have a positive. So I have to add in a zero pair. Let's put circles around these because all the rest had circles. So let me get those circles in. So I add in a zero pair, then I can take away that positive one and I'm left with seven negatives. So the answer is negative seven. Now, if you want to do it just by using rules, here are the rules. If you're adding and the numbers have the same sign, you add the two numbers and keep the sign. So eight plus three, add the numbers and they're positive. So the answer is positive. Negative eight plus negative three, add the numbers to get 11 and it's a negative sign. If they have different signs, you subtract the numbers and keep the sign of what you had most of. So let's say I have negative eight plus three. They have different signs, negative eight and positive three. So I'm gonna to subtract to get five and I keep the sign of what I had most of, I had most negatives. If it's the other way around, eight plus negative three, again, I subtract and I keep the sign of what I had most of, which is the positives. Subtracting, the rule is just add the opposite. So if I give you eight minus three, that's the same thing as eight plus negative three. Now I'm adding with opposite signs, which I've done up there and I get five. Now, of course, you guys would just do eight minus three and get five, but I want to show you how the models work and how the rules work. Let's say I had negative eight minus three. That would be the same as negative eight plus negative three because I'm adding the opposite. This is a positive three over here. The opposite of positive three is negative three. So I'm adding the opposite. So that's going to be negative 11. If I had negative eight minus negative three, it's going to be negative eight plus, I'm gonna add the opposite, which is three, and that's going to be opposite signs adding, so that's negative five. And then the last one I want to show you is eight minus negative three, which when you add the opposite, you add, and the opposite of negative three is three, and the answer is 11. So that's all I want to show you in the video for today. For the rest of your lesson today, there's um, some IXL practice for you um, and some formative as well. And then tomorrow there's going to be a fair amount of IXL practice too. Okay, have a good week. Email me if you need me and take care.